A life forgotten, erased, a family and friends looked at like it's the very first time. With more than 5 million Americans living with Alzheimer's and so many others with some sort of dementia, it affects everyone. But there is hope in the way that this illness is fought that could make it less of a threat for future generations. For a couple, Nancy and Ronald Sweet, they have not walked, but instead danced down the road of life for 17 years. Most anything. Well, rumba, Argentine tango, swing. Dancing ballroom has kept their hearts beating at the same pace. But these days, Nancy's mind is having trouble keeping step. Well, Nancy developed Alzheimer's. It was diagnosed... Uh, Officially, about almost six years ago now. The sweets are dealing with the disease that has become an epidemic in America. And it's getting bigger and bigger as the baby boom generation is aging. The number of people with dementia in this country is going to quadruple by 2050. Dementia is an umbrella term to explain the change in function and memory loss. There are lots of things that can cause dementia. Alzheimer's is by far the most common. A lot of our focus here and just internationally is on Alzheimer's disease because it's a specific pathology that we think we know. But there is progress in preventing the buildup of amyloid, a protein in the brain thought to cause dementia. Several of the drugs that are in development now target amyloid and either stop it from forming or remove it from the brain. There's also tests that scan early on for amyloid buildup in the brain but it's expensive as much as four thousand dollars and insurance companies don't cover it. That could change for future generations. And ultimately, we hope that it will be no different than getting a colonoscopy or mammograms. For the sweets, they're grateful for any science or medicine that will give them one more dance together. I still get to dance once in a while and still get to have fun. Gotta love the sweets. Other preventative measures that we can all do right now include getting plenty of physical activity. Take part in mentally stimulating activities. There's something to those crossword puzzles. And be social. Go out. Make friends. Eating a healthy Mediterranean diet as well. That's huge. Make sure it's low in saturated fats, high in green leafy vegetables and antioxidants. And love. Put love on that list. Because the sweet yes. couple, oh, they are so sweet. Just like their <laughs> name. What a supportive husband and cute couple. Isn't that fantastic? Yes, so it he's going to be there for Nancy, but at the same time, science hopefully will be there for us. And if we can get these tests as part of a daily routine mm -hmm. or a yearly routine, like a mammogram or a colonoscopy, it could be saving a lot of lives in the future. Incredible story. Thanks, right. Marco. Yeah.